A very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadabiya Palace. Following the session, the Secretary General of the Cabinet, Dr. Yasser bin Isa Nasser, delivered the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the United Arab Emirates and his meeting with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He commended the historic relations between the two countries and the keenness on further bolstering them, noting the importance of the visit to support understanding and joint work and enhance consultation and coordination in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride and appreciation for the congratulations on his honoring as a world leader in the World Health Organization, the WHO. He also thanked the WHO and the participants in the honoring ceremony for their appreciation for Bahrain's achievements in the health sector. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the concerned authorities to continue the developmental projects in Muharraq promptly, noting the importance of the new Muharraq Central Market to provide further services for the people of Muharraq. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to complete connecting the new areas in Adir to the sewage network and to inspect the complaints of its residents. His Royal Highness also noted the importance of holding the two Gulf and Arab summits that the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, called leaders to attend to consult and coordinate on the delicate situation in the region and its effects on the security and stability. The cabinet directed to unite the Gulf and Arab stances and to support the security of Saudi Arabia and its stability as its security is that of the Arab countries. The cabinet affirmed the support of the kingdom to Saudi Arabia and its full solidarity with all that it adopts to bolster Gulf cooperation and Arab and Islamic solidarity for the stability and peace in the region. The cabinet expressed a hope that the two summits arrive at decisions that enhance the interest of the Gulf, Arab and Islamic countries. The cabinet strongly condemned the attack of the terrorist Houthi militias that targeted Mecca and described it as an offensive aggression against the sanctity of holy places and a provocation to Muslims. It asserted Bahrain's supporting stance toward Saudi Arabia in all the procedures that preserve its security and stability. The cabinet praised the Gulf Corporation Council for being a Gulf entity that promotes the security and stability of its countries asserting the importance of preserving this entity by maintaining its gains and achievements. The cabinet approved the administrative procedures to transfer 230 million dinars from the surplus of the unemployment insurance fund to the public account of the state to finance the voluntary retirement program for one time only after the approval of the board of directors of the Bahraini General Authority for Social Insurance. The cabinet appointed the Ministry of Finance and National Economy to take the necessary procedures. The cabinet approved the recommendation of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the draft decree to form two boards of trustees for government hospitals and primary health care centers. The session reviewed these results of the study on electricity and water on the potential effects of electricity and water consumption tariffs on the real estate sector. The meeting approved a proposal on the employment of unemployed doctors through initiatives and steps adopted by the government including the training and employment program for unemployed doctors recently adopted by the cabinet. The cabinet approved the response of the government on a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives on the exemption of food commodities sold in school cafeterias of value-added tax based on the recommendation of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended the final match of the fourth edition of the Royal Artillery Football Tournament held under His Highness's patronage at the Royal Artillery. His Highness presented awards to the winning team, the Royal Bahraini Air Force, the second place team, the Royal Bahraini Naval Force, the championship's best player, the highest scoring player and the best goalkeeper. He also recognized a number of retired players from Bahrain national football team who played an exhibition 
exhibition match on the sidelines of the tournament's final. During the awarding ceremony, Zainal Sheikh Mohammed praised Bahrain Defense Force BDF for, for organizing this tournament for four consecutive years, highlighting its outstanding standards of competition and sporting excellence. He concluded by congratulating all the participating teams for their remarkable performance and sportsmanship.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, signed in the Book of Condolences today at the Embassy of Malaysia to the Kingdom of Bahrain in honor of the demise of the Sultan Ahmed Shah, the father of Malaysia's current King Sultan Abdullah bin Al Sultan Ahmed Shah. The Minister of Foreign Affairs extended his sincere condolences to the Malaysian government and people, recalling the deceased's contribution to Malaysia's prosperity and development at all levels, as well as his efforts to enhance relations between Bahrain. Bahrain and Malaysia. He also stressed the keenness of Bahrain to bolster bilateral cooperation and coordination with the common interests of the two friendly countries and peoples. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, signed an agreement with the Al Jamil contractors to establish the main headquarters of the Transportation and Telecommunications Ministry in Muharraq. Also present was the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed Khalaf, stated that the cost of the seven story building is 7,033,290 Bahraini dinars and is expected to be finalized by the second half of 2021. The Minister of Transportation expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Works and all the concerned directorates in both ministries for their cooperation and coordination in this important project that will combine all the ministry's departments in one building, which contributes in raising levels of productivity and efficiency. He also said that the new location of the ministry close to Bahrain's International Airport is in line with the airport modernization project, which is now in the final stage and is considered one of the most important national strategic projects supervised by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications.